Hi, it's 2.30 a.m. and I just want to say that I have a huge problem with myself. Well, I shouldn't say a huge problem because it's more like several problems lumped together that create a huge problem. And as much as I want to try to eradicate that problem, I'm really having a difficult time knowing how. And it has to do with my confidence. A lot of it does. <clears throat> I have always grown up thinking that if only I would be a confident person, if only I would care, if only I'd feel better about myself in certain ways, then my life would be just so much easier, so much better, so much more fulfilled. And before anybody can say that you are what you make your life and well then just start feeling that way and all this other crap. I've worked on myself a lot for like over 10 years. A long, long time now and since like I don't know, 2004, 2005, maybe a little before that, and I've been working on myself. I have improved, but all these old demons are still there inside me trying to sabotage me and wreck my life, and as hard as I try to push them away, as much as I pray, as much as I just try to get rid of them, they're always there and they never leave me. And they're constantly convincing me that I should be hurting, that I should be the one who hurts. Nobody else, everybody else needs to be happy. And that I, I can't. And that being said, I know that's kind of reverse selfishness. I want things to be better. I thought this week was going to be, you know, great, you know. I tried really hard to fight off anything that could screw me up and make me feel horrible. I tried so hard and yet it happened. And I know, I know, I know it's how you react to people and how you react to situations and you can let it happen. But you know what? I'm tired of that crap. I'm tired of hearing people say that to me because it's, it's true and at the same time when you have become so conditioned like you always told me so many times I have, which I know is true. The more conditioned you are, the more that you actually believe things. And anything outside of that scares you to death. And so the paradox is that you don't want to feel that way. You, you are totally drained of all of energy of feeling that way and you don't ever want to feel that way again but it keeps happening to you and yet the same thing that you keep feeling and that you hate is the same place where you find this weird morbid comfort because you feel like it's gonna be okay you know if I just stay right here I'm gonna be safe I'll just stay here. Even if it hurts, I'll be safe. Nobody else has to deal with me and my issues. I'll just be right here in this level, be safe, and that's it. And yet I don't want to feel that way, so that's my paradox. Um, I 
guess that's all I can say.